Welcome back to Glamping with the Coopers. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're here from my main channel at Be My Guest with Denise, hey y'all. Since becoming RVers, I've been getting a lot of questions about RV decor. So today I am sharing how you can add those special touches to make your RV feel more at home. Giving you all a visual, this is our current kitchen at home. It's clean, light, bright, and airy. And this is my preference for right now. But if you know me at all, you should not be surprised that I chose something similar as our current home. After all, the purpose of glamping, for us, it's our way to experience the outdoors without having to sacrifice the comforts of home. A clean kitchen is a luxurious kitchen. First, clean everything off your countertops and give them a good cleaning. Stains, spills, dust, grease can hide. Don't forget the backsplash. Give that a good cleaning too, especially if you have grout. If you follow me on my main channel at Be My Guest with Denise, then you have seen my courtly check collection on my kitchen countertops for years. Well, I carried my love over to our home on wheels with their latest collection. It's not cheap, just to warn you. I'll also link that down below in case you're interested. I'm elevating our kitchen with this 14 piece gold and white knife set with block and built in knife sharpener. The quality is pretty decent and the knives are super sharp. I also love that it has scissors for cutting meats or veggies and the white set goes with everything in our kitchen. I 100% leave this set out on our counters at all times, even on travel days because it's really heavy. Real or faux plants or flowers can make your kitchen come to life and it really can brighten up your kitchen. In fact, I try to use flowers in every room because it really makes it feel homey. This bouquet is faux and I leave it on the counter even on travel days. It's secured with mountain putty and it never moves. If you have soap dispensers or lotion in its original container next to your kitchen counter, put them in attractive containers, then add a tray to contain them as well. I love using marble trays at home and here also in our RV. It's heavy, so you really don't have to worry about them moving, but it's always a good idea to add mounting tape or putty just to make sure. You can add this peel and stick paper towel holder to hang damp towels or dishcloths to keep them off your counters. It will allow them to dry so it will not leave a musty smell. If you're a coffee drinker like us, get a machine that matches the energy in your RV kitchen. My machine is by Cafe Appliances and I am true to the brand. We even have one in our kitchen at home. Over in our dining area, I added a touch of coastal elements and neutrals. Raw Stars had this set of two seagrass placemats for $4.99. I got a total of four in case we had guests over for dinner and I'll have extra on hand. I've shared this in my tour video that our dining table extends and it can accommodate four people. It's such a great feature to have. Recently, I swapped out the existing RV chairs for something more comfortable. Don't get me wrong, these chairs are well made, the fabric is what I'm not too crazy about, and they really didn't match the spare set of folding chairs that we have. We currently have these chairs at our home that you may have seen in our kitchen. There's one each at the head of the table, and we love the height of these chairs, and they are on wheels. I also love them because they are narrow and very comfortable. Carrying a similar look inside Big Lucy, just on a smaller scale, we purchased two more extra chairs because our table pulls out to accommodate four people and if you notice these chairs are armless which allows for easy movement both in and out of the chair let's address the elephant in the room because I know how you girls like to tussle in the comments yes these chairs are white but we had them professionally scotch guarded I'm not one to sacrifice my style because of my fabric choice y'all know I'm extra when Big Lucy is in storage, we use the covers that came with the chairs to keep the dust bunnies away, and the other two chairs are stored at the bottom of the rig. If you love decor like I do, it's hard to resist a beautiful vase. I couldn't resist putting one of my favorite vessels I got from our home on our dining table. Over here on our credenza, since both are ceramic, I had to make sure it would be safe to use in our RV. Let heavy duty double-sided tape be your best friend. This tape will stick to almost anything. I purposely did not put tape at the bottom of this planter because when we have our meals, it needs to go. So I'll move the planter over to the credenza against safety. I placed a two pound weight at the bottom of the planter to keep it from moving. Having a cozy and peaceful environment is so important. Whether you're living in a sticks and bricks or in your home on wheels, it can help you feel 
more relaxed, especially due to ever-changing surroundings of RV life. Area rugs is a great place to start if you're wanting to cozy up your space. I got this area rug for $25 at HomeGoods. Now remember, we are glampers, not campers. We do not wear shoes inside Big Lucy. It can get dirty really quickly. If you know, you know. Small scale ottomans is a great storage solution for storing throw blankets, games, toys, and tablets. I've placed two in front of the opposing sofa so guests can put their feet up to relax if they want to. The artwork that came with Lucy was not my favorite. I knew I was going to change it out and put something more of our style. And this was a little tricky because the wall is like a bluish gray and the mantle is beige. I totally fell in love with this piece from Ross Stores for only 20 bucks. It matches the mantle and the stone perfectly. It gives this area the depth and it definitely is a focal point when you enter. I'm giving the command picture strips a 10 out of 10. You can hang pictures up to 16 pounds, but I'm still undecided if I want to put it here or not. The wall in our guest bathroom is the perfect place for it for now. Use your valuable space in a way that helps you to be more efficient. This way you can spend more time doing things that matters the most. I'll be sure to leave clickable links to the products shown in this video. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and on my main YouTube channel, Be My Guest with Denise, to get ideas for your sticks and bricks. See you in the next video.